Welcome to Life as Usual, a video blog dedicated to making you a more impactful leader through the ideas of self-awareness, execution, and direction. Today I want to talk about breakdowns and how they're the next step before you break through. Hold on. You may be watching this video right now and you're feeling that sting, that pain of self-destructive talk. You might be going through a breakdown right now where things aren't going the way you expect them to go. And maybe that project failed, or maybe somebody you know left you, or maybe your team is breaking apart. I want you to know that I've experienced all those things and I'm with you. It's a really tough time in someone's life. But I want you to know one thing. You can't let that stop you. In fact, I'm gonna say that this may be the opportunity you've been waiting for. Your mind's in a different place and it might be the thing that gets you kick-started on the next step in your career, in your evolution. What is the second law of thermodynamics? And what does it have to do with any of this? The second law of thermodynamics is that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transferred. And what that has to do with a breakdown in energy in life is that that energy is going to stick with you until you can transform it. A lot of times when we're experiencing these breakdowns, the universe gives us opportunities to transform that energy. We just have to be receptive enough to find them. For me, it was creating the blog. And even though the blog didn't transform my life immediately, it did put me on a path to take that energy and make something good of it. How can you use this to make it a long-term view and do what I call make it a movie? I love movies. And the thing that fascinates me about movies is you get to be a voyeur into someone's life. You get to see the things that they don't see. And you get to root for them even though things are going bad. Because that's what makes a movie compelling, right? It's the idea that something bad happens and somebody has to triumph over it. Well, I think... If you take the long view of your life and you see it as a movie, the breakdown that you're going through is going to make your life that much more compelling when you hit the other side. Is evolution possible after this? I think evolution is possible. In fact, I think this is the period that's going to springboard your evolution. When I think about the bad periods in my life, whenever I was receptive and didn't hold myself to them, I evolved into a better person. One thing that I talked about was this blog and this platform that I'm building now. When I sit back and look at my life with the long view, I realize a lot of the evolutions that I've had had come in dark times of my life. Whether it's me starting the blog, whether it's me starting this video blog, or my first startup, or my decision to get into consulting. All these things came at crazy periods in my life. So how do you use this in the lens of self-awareness, execution, and direction? Self-awareness. You need to be aware that bad things happen and we have no control over them. All we have control over is how we respond to them. The narrative in our head, if we're not careful, may lead us to feel like this is going to last forever. More than likely it isn't. And in it, you might just find the next opportunity that's going to springboard your life. Execution. How do you execute with that idea in mind? Life is long. And because life is long, there's gonna be a lot of opportunities to evolve and change. So you have to change the way you even see that. Which every down period, you're gonna bounce back up. The only way it may not happen is if you keep that narrative in your head going. So one, remember that there's a long view. Two. Disassociate yourself enough to where you could write this out almost like a movie. Make an act number up. This is act two. And this is a scene where you lost your job. How would the hero yourself figure out how to get over that? Take a second. Think about that. And you might be surprised at how many different ideas you come up with. The minute you pull yourself out of your circumstances, it gives you a little bit more latitude to understand what possibilities are there. Direction. Once you do that, direct your life that way. Hey, that next opportunity may be a nonprofit that's around the corner, or 
you might find that really this problem that you're having is you don't feel like you're contributing something. So maybe there's a volunteer position. Maybe this is the perfect time for you to get your health in order. So you find that Planet Fitness and spend $10 a month and just go. Or maybe this is a time to connect with family. Or there's a million things that could happen that might end up springboarding you into your next opportunity. The craziest thing about life, and when I think about my own, is that I didn't see any of them coming. The only thing that I could do, and the best thing that I could have done, was make sure that I was prepared for them. So, let's wrap this up. You need to be aware that, that the down is coming, and even if you're in it, there's going to be an opportunity to spring back up. You need to execute by understanding that it's a long life, and you can almost write this thing like a movie if you pull yourself out, and you're going to see opportunities through that. And direction is, you don't know where the direction that opportunity is going to come from. The best you can do is just make sure you're prepared and listen to yourself. If you look in the description box, you'll find a couple of books that help me dive deep into emotional intelligence. They've had exercises, research, and deep dives that help me bring these concepts to you. This isn't a one-way conversation. And in fact, it's not a two-way either. We're part of a community, the Life as Usual community. And as leaders, especially creative leaders, emotional intelligence is something that we all need to get better at. We can reach out to each other through the comments section, through sharing this video, through liking it, and help each other talk about, build upon, and explore these concepts in these videos. Remember, I'm not just a teacher, I'm a student as well. Help me learn your perspective.